Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see the superior OS for this Redmi Note 3, which is based on Android version 10. So let's begin. So as you guys can see here, the superior OS version is the superior OS Phoenix version, and the security patch level here is the June 5th, which is the latest one available now. And the build date here is, as you can see, June 19th. And the kernel here is the Kalina Nikiv Isomer. That is, this is very good kernel, I would say. Okay, so guys, then going to the settings, going in the system, you get this uh, system update option. I don't know if you will receive the updates or not, but you get the system update. I have the less, latest one, and I haven't received the update yet. So let's see. Then you have this. Uh, there's still still strong. These are the Xiaomi features available the and USB fast charge and double tap to wake the sound enhancer and the display color and you get the performance settings the, there is a bug here like when you go to display color it, when you set it on and off the color just stays the same as soon as you go into this option now if you turn it off then also the, it, this it will stay the same so this is a very bad this is a bug here home then going to the security option the fingerprint sensor here is working absolutely fine no problem. after you lock the phone you have to wait for two seconds to unlock it or as soon as you lock you just turn on the screen and the fingerprint sensor is good to go then going to the sound option you get all the sounds and options available the basic options are available no problems with that then going to the display option you get all the display stuff like the font size display size you have this lock screen display this is the ambient display or you get the always on display also which is working fine as you can see so then you have this double tap to wait then you have this full screen apps like uh, if you want to hide the status bar then uh, this is the theme room you can customize the themes if as you want like the google dark solar eyes and all that stuff then you can customize the accent color from here then you have this account presets all these are the presets for it the themes presets available then you have this fonts all these fonts available here then uh, you can change the icon shape from here then you have this pulse like the edge screen is available for the ambient display okay now going to the battery i would say battery life here is good enough no problems with the battery life it's uh, good i would say average battery life then go these are the superior goodies these are all the superior os features going to the status bar these are all the status bar customizations available like uh, you can customize the batteries then uh, you get these uh, old mobile style mo signal this is not working i would say the it, it is the same as you can see no no there is no effect of it then you get this battery percentage and all that stuff this is the rounded display option available here which is working absolutely fine okay then going to the quick settings option these are all the quick settings customizations same as every rom i would say if you are watching my videos then you would know what the options are uh, you get this quick pull down and all that stuff available then going to the buttons uh, you get this volume rockers like volume rockers steps how many steps you want for it this is the this is the design of the volume i would say this is cool this it's good then you get this hard disable hardware keys as you can see here the hardware keys are disabled then you get the option to enable backlight and disable backlight as you can see here the backlight here is working absolutely fine then you get this button touch and accidental touch option here which is very helpful while playing games and stuff then you get this single tap and double tap customization available then going to the navigation bar you can just enable the navigation bar as you can see it has appeared here but without enabling also it just works and the hardware buttons also work but here is the bug the hardware button's vibration just gets disabled the back gestures as you can see here are working fine but i would say just turn it off because it just sometimes swipe up while playing games 
so that's irritating when playing game then the gestures you get these aosp gestures this system navigation gestures then in the advance you get this extended swipe and all that stuff available like in the miui if you know these gestures the extended swipe gestures that is it then in the settings you can just hide the gesture bar and adjust the size of the gesture bar then you get this option double tap to on the status bar to sleep and all that stuff available going to the lock screen customization you, you have all the lock screen like the charging animation this is working absolutely fine like the, this is the weather and all that stuff the bat, left and right shortcuts you can just set it up then in the power menu just you can set up whatever the options you want in the power menu in the notifications you get this battery charging light and notification light everything is working then you have this option vibrate on connect and vibrate on call waiting which should be in every room i would say then in the miscellaneous you have this wake up on charge and the screenshot type you get the option full and the partial okay so guys that's it for the features okay i forgot in the notification you have this less boring heads up which only shows the notification for the dialer messaging and the alarm app everything else notification will be turned off this is very good i would say as you can see here the gestures are working absolutely fine no problems with the gestures so guys then going to the home screen this is the home screen you get the launcher launcher default launcher is the launcher launcher and this is very good launcher talk about the features you get this the wifi bluetooth mobile data flashlight all everything is working fine then going to the right side you get all these option the screen stabilized you get this dark theme option available which is working absolutely fine then you have this screen recorder available going to the settings you can adjust the audio source you can record the internal audio here you can adjust the number of frame rates here everything is working fine then uh, talking about th this is the less boring option available i just showed you then you have this night light option available which is also working absolutely fine then you have this audio mode stereo and audio mode you can just customize it from here whatever you want guys uh, talking about other stuff you get the inbuilt call recorder available and uh, you will have no problems with the calling the call reception is fine then you talking about youtube youtube is working absolutely fine no problems with the youtube then talking about the camera you get this inbuilt gcam go camera which is working absolutely fine and you get another camera inbuilt this is the default camera this is just shitty camera available then talking about the gcam 7.3 version which is also absolutely working fine this is not the gcam which i made a detailed video about this is another this is the bsg mode the, i made a video about the parrot developer this is the bsg the, that one is not working this is working absolutely fine the portrait mode night side everything is working fine as you can see here so guys that's it and talking about the pubg performance pubg runs great no problems with the pubg everything is just working absolutely fine okay then talking about the performance uh, they show you the geekbench scores the scores are not as uh, scores are uh, average i would say the performance is great on this rom so guys uh, then this is the app uh, this is the available here the styles and wallpapers you don't get it in the display settings you just get the on in the apps you can adjust these create these are the clock style and you can adjust the wallpaper from here. and guys talking about the launcher launcher you get all these uh, launcher customizations uh, the theme the desktop at a glance and you get this gesture double tap to sleep and all that stuff from the home screen then talking about the more this launcher it shows you some notifications like i have captured some screenshots here as you can see here it shows you notifications uh, on the home screen like 28 messages messages and from six chats from and you and you get all the notifications here on the home screen then this shows you this thoughts like how was your day and at night it shows you sleep well and all that stuff then this it shows you don't stay up too late so this is very good option like i would say it's cool so guys now talking about the bugs and some problems i have faced with this rom is like it just sometimes gets hanged like 
it gets hanged and it's stuck at the boot animation sometimes then uh, okay then there is a problem with the snapchat here you will not be able to log in to the snapchat it just shows you oh something went wrong the swag and later but it never gets logged in so this is problem with snapchat so if you are a snapchat user then this room is not for you then uh, there is a uh, one more bug like as you can see here i have the screen recorded here you will just not be able to use instagram it will be just stuck at here you will have to reboot the phone when you face this so this is also a bug here then talking about problems here i have i have some complaints like with this rom you get these two inbuilt cameras here available then you get these two contact apps available which are no use both are of google and i don't know why they have given two contact apps then you get these two two inbuilt gallery apps everything is twi- double here then you get this wire browser available here and you also get the firefox lite browser so everything is double here like uh, the camera the contacts the browser and all that stuff okay so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel we are almost there 2000 subscribers so guys let's do it and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below and if you have any problems regarding the custom rooms then you can dm me on instagram the so guys i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye